Today, for those who have never done this before, learn how to install Ubuntu 12.10 under the Windows 7 professional 64-bit environment easily and directly from the website. This is TQA Weekly. I'm your host, Steve Smith, aka Z Axis, and yes, you may call me that. And of course, if you ever, 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 ever have any questions, comments, suggestions, and or horror stories, you can email me at ask at tqaweekly.com. The show notes for this specific episode, tqaweekly.com slash se3 ep12, 12th episode of season 3. And of course, I'm going to be demonstrating how to install Ubuntu 12.10 under Windows 7 64-bit professional. So it's going to be very easy. We're going to start directly from the website, head over to the downloading of the Wubi, which is basically their Windows Ubuntu installer, Wubi. And then, of course, I'm going to just basically explain it. We're going to install it to a traditional rotating hard drive, Western Digital Blue 32 Meg Cache Terabyte Drive. I do have two of those and a Vertex 3 SSD drive. I won't be installing to the SSD because I don't want to burn it out. A SSD drive to date is great, it's fast, but it has about a million writes per sector approximately. And you just don't want to run anything that has virtual memory on an SSD drive that you don't get to turn off when installing. So for that matter, we're going to stick to the normal, traditional rotating drive for this. The computer is still pretty, pretty fast at 20 gigs of RAM, quad core processor with a gigabyte graphics card on top of all the other specs that you can't possibly see right now. One day I may take a picture, but let's head over to the demonstration of the installation of Ubuntu 12.10 in Windows 7 Professional 64-bit. In order to install Ubuntu 12.10 in a Windows 7 environment, you need to go to ubuntu.com, click the download link at the top, under Ubuntu Desktop, you will find a kind of orange Windows icon. Click the Check Out the Windows Installer. Then you'll choose your release. In our case, we'll be choosing 12.10. Then you will click Get the Installer. Then you click Download. The Wubi Installer will download. I'm using Chrome so it appears in the bottom left. Click on that. It will load up Wubi. Then you have to choose your installation drive, the size, the environment, the language, your username, and password. Now in the show notes I write that I will not install it on my SSD drive just because I don't want it screwing around inside. So I'll install it to my D drive. I don't have to give it very much space, so I'll just assign it 30 gigs. Anyway, don't need much more. The rest of my stuff's in SATA. We'll use the basic Ubuntu desktop environment. There are other ones that you can use. I'm going to leave it in English. Change the username to my nickname, ZAxis. And because this is my production computer, I just use a basic password but you should use a password that is extremely complicated that you won't forget and nobody can guess then all you need to do is click install and you let it download and install for the amount of time that it needs normally it's not that long now all I have to do is select reboot now then click finish and a computer will restart selecting Ubuntu will allow it to finish installing that was the demonstration, very easy, also cut for length. It's gonna take you 20 to 30 minutes to install the new Ubuntu 12.10 on a computer built the same way. It may take you longer if you have an older computer, but needless to say, it will take you a lot less than an hour. Obviously, if you have any questions, because if something happens, ask at tqaweekly.com or head over to ubuntu.com and see their documentation. 
or look up the information for their IRC chat if you need to know the answer right now. That, of course, is basically everything you need to know about installing in Windows 7 64-bit professional. Next week, I talk about iOS 6, privacy and location, basically your GPS, basically which applications can figure out where you are right now. And I'll tell you how to disable that for applications. I'll explain what you can do to figure out even when your phone company is trying to figure out where you are or when your phone tells your phone company where you are because these are actually settings you can turn on and off. So that will be that. December, hold on, 16th is the last episode of 2012 for TQA Weekly. And this year I decided I was gonna do why I hate Internet Explorer. I'm gonna be talking about it from two different points of views. I fix computers, so you, most notably, I'll explain why people who don't know what they're doing on the internet that are very immature, inexperienced, or let's stay polite, shouldn't be using Internet Explorer in the first place. And I'm gonna be explaining why Microsoft should do more like Firefox, Chrome, and all the other companies and push ahead all their web browsers, force everybody to become synchronized to today's standard because web developers to this day have to maintain backwards compatible websites for only one real browser and that it is Internet Explorer, not Firefox, not Chrome, not Safari, not Opera. Only Internet Explorer keeps us from having the best looking, lightest, most magnificent websites. If you want to have a great website and you're looking for someone to blame, blame Microsoft. And I'm gonna explain all that on December 16th. If you wanna share your comments, suggestions, stories on the Internet Explorer issue I'll be taking out of hand, you can email me your comments, stories, suggestions at askattqaweekly.com. If you want to send me video or audio, you can send me the audio to askattqaweekly.com as long as the file is not that big. Or you can send me video but upload it to YouTube so I can go and just extract it and send me the link to that YouTube video so I can download it. I might not be able to take every suggestion or video or audio people send me, if any, but I will try to find a few if possible. Otherwise, you know what? It'll just be me talking as usual. So until next week, remember to stay safe and online. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and like this episode if you are interested in today's topic. Think someone else can learn from it or you just really want to continue learning more about computers, their problems, and the solutions for them. You head over to tqaweekly.com to learn other ways of subscribing to the show, downloading all the episodes, reading all the show notes, subscribing to the newsletter, and much, much more. I've added to the episode guide two new sets of links. One is called Random Episode, which will bring you to any episode whatsoever, and the other one is Current Episode. So the episode this week, these two will either bring you to the last episode I've done or to any episode whatsoever. Stay safe and online and have a great day.